They started tearing down, you know, Confederate Civil War monuments and stuff. Stuff that's been there for like 100 years, which was always weird because 100 years ago, people could whatever, walk by a Robert E. Lee monument and not care. It wasn't a big deal to them, black or white. Now, all of a sudden, it's a bigger deal to us than it was to people whose like parents fought. You know, they have they had grandparents who fought in the Civil War, or died in the Civil War. They were OK with it. And yet for us, what, the wounds of the Civil War are fresher or more raw for us than they were for people a, a century ago? It makes no sense. How are we less able to be objective and non-emotional about the Civil War than people who, who had family members? I mean, sla- ex-slaves was, were still living back then. Um, well, I think it's because it's just like a religious ideology. Like when the Taliban started blowing up those ancient statues of Buddhas. Do you remember that? Yeah. Because like they could like they destroyed things that were a part of human history that we would have studied for thousands of years, yeah. and they destroyed them because they didn't go along with their religious ideology. And I think part of the woke thing is this religious ideology that has to be followed, and you you cannot stray from the lines. You have to stay inside whatever this ideology is promoting and telling you what to do. And one of the things was that you had to take down all these statues of terrible people. And I remember Trump saying at the time, well, the problem with that is, like, eventually they're going to take down George Washington. And everybody thought he was crazy. Like, that's a crazy thing to say. But once they got past Civil War people, then they got to who owned slaves? And then they got to taking down – they wanted to take down statues of Thomas Jefferson and eventually did get to George Washington. Yeah. And that was always – it was always going to go that way because – George Washington, the founding fathers owned slaves. Not only that, but they were rebels, you know, rebelling against a governmental authority. And if they had lost, then they all would have been uh, hanged as traitors. And that's how they'd be remembered. Thankfully, they didn't. But so there's a it's actually there's a there's a it's not that far of a leap to go from from one to the other. And of course, the issue is that everybody who lived on Earth prior to about, certainly prior to 100 years ago, is racist by our standards today. Every single one. Right. There was no one who lived on Earth 100 years ago who we would not consider racist anywhere of any race. Um, if you go back 200 years or, or earlier than that, almost everybody either owned slaves or was okay with slavery as an institution. You go back 500 years and there was nobody on the planet who, who considered slavery to be wrong fundamentally. They might have had issues with how slaves are treated in some context, but it took like thousands of years for it to ever even occur to a single human on earth that slavery is actually fundamentally wrong, uh, which is a crazy thing. And that's actually an interesting thing we could, you could talk about and, and think about, like, why is that? How could it be that right. it's so obvious to us, but the, some of the greatest minds of history, they never thought of it. Uh, but we can't talk about that because we have to talk about slavery and racism as if they're exclusively white Western phenomena. 